Hello everybody, my name is Alan from Sauber Lab and today we'll show how can you install Duzzle. And that's you're gonna ask what is this application? I will tell, this application is a real-time log viewer for Docker containers. I still not understand, I don't know how I'm gonna use it. It's simple. In lots of our videos, I show that once that we finish the installation, we go in the log in the container and in there you can see what is going on. Exactly, it's you can look for the log for all your applications without really need to open the portainer or really need to go for each application specific. You can make some search, that way you can see what is going wrong for each application or what happened, if appears some errors or anything. Also, you can see how much run memory or CPU it's using for each application. It's a really quick, easy application, but it's quite useful if you want to investigate and try to analyze what's going wrong. If you like this idea, we're gonna show in this video, but first of all, don't forget to leave your like, consider it to subscribe for the channel, and let's see how we can do it. So first thing, we're gonna open the official website for this application. Here we see that it does, so it's a real-time log viewer for Docker containers, as I told. We can get a little bit more information in GitHub, and this application has been downloaded 76 million times, so a lot of people use, and it's quite user-friendly. If I come here down, they tell you how you can do the installation. We're gonna do it, but not exactly in this way. Also, you can define a proxy manager and that you can have external access for it. But of course, you need to set up a password and user. I show you how you can do it or if you want to do it. And uh, this way that you can see, you can see in your phone and you can see what happens, what is going wrong and that you can work, maybe switch off all your server or do anything that you want. As I told you, we're gonna come here in our GitHub. Here in our GitHub, it's the application that's work have quite a lot of uh, information and it's uh, done something two days ago. If I go a little bit down, we have the information. They say that you can open this website and they say that have a search ability for search over the containers. You can search using log racks. I don't know what's did. They use really low quantities of memory for your system. You can split your screen for multiple views for the logs. You can download the logs, you can see how much memory or CPU it's using, and you can add the password and user if you need. We're gonna do the installation through the Docker run because it's really easy and it's quite simple. But remember, if you're gonna do the installation of Docker run, you only need to look for your ports. Don't change anything else because otherwise not work. Principally, this volume, it's really important to be in this place because it's the same place that all the information, all the logs for your containers will be saved there. So let's go a little bit down and see what parameters that we need to look. If you look here, will be our standard port. Base is nothing. The level of the information will be info and that the revision is not applicable. And uh, tail size will be 300. You can define different size. Remember that I told that you can start up a user and a password if you want to use as external. Yes, in this stage, you can add environmental user and password. In this way, they will set up that user and password. And you know that uh, if you want to access it, you're going to need to use exactly the same. So let's come here and copy this information from the Docker run to doing the installation. We'll copy here and we'll open my put. Here I put, I only paste this information. I don't, I will not use the port 88 for my BitTorrent, so 8888 8, 8, 8 is totally fine. Don't change this volume, otherwise you'll not find any log. And now we can put run. Once that you put run, we can come here back and open our portainer. Here I can refresh this page and right up here this first application. If I open the same IP address plus port 888, they will open this page. Here, as I didn't define my password, they don't ask the password to enter. Here, this application say that it's running for around one minute and this one, it's around more than a month. So if I come here, my Duzzle, I have some only some information. If I come here, my portainer, I have a little bit more information. I can see how much of log. They will appear the percentage of your information that's logged here. As well, you can see how much memory that it's using and how much CPU that's running. But uh, in this case that you have only one container, it's totally fine, two containers, totally fine. But here I will come for my server. If I come here, I have uh, over 31 containers, all of those is running. And here, seven hours ago, three, two days ago, three days ago, and the same thing here. 
and hear all my containers. So if I come here, I know what is going on, what they are doing, and how much uh, run that is running, and how much uh, load that is running. If I open my sonar, that I think that is running some in the background, they use 700 megabytes for my run and use 10% of uh, this information. As well, I can come here and put search and put error. Let's see if I have. Yes, I have some errors. I have some information that it didn't work. So I could potentially look on this one. And I know that this one happened today. I can come here and download my log. This way I can export and send for someone this log. It's quite easy. And here I have all my application, all my containers running. So I can come here and see what's going on, what progress. And it's always work with real time. You cannot edit because it's only a real view. It's not a edit program. So here you have all the application, everything is working and you can search it and you can see what's going on. So guys, I hope that you like this video. As I told, it's really simple application, but it's quite interesting for some uh, problem solving or some error checking. In this way, you can see how much run that's running, how much CPU and what's the log. You can search it and make your life really easy. Please, please, if you want to send for someone and say, okay, this is what happened, can you help me? Or this is what it's going wrong, what I did wrong. So if you like this video and think that was interesting, don't forget to leave your like, consider to subscribe for the channel and see you next time. Bye.